just doing a little uh, follow up here the video that we did a couple of days ago. Uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna go over how I actually managed to get all of this working. So, what I've done here is inside each of these things, I've assigned them using Super Macro. And then I have gathered these icons from the fan kit that they released. <clears throat> um, and when I grabbed this uh, dancer and gunbreaker were not out yet, so you'll notice the icon is slightly uh, different colored. It's because I uh, downloaded those off of Google. Somebody else had made. But in here, you just assign this to um, a set of keys that you don't necessarily use for something else. And make sure that you use delayed key down mode which puts a 50 millisecond delay on your thing. Um, so take, for example, the Dancer one is set to Control, Alt, and R. If I don't use the delayed key down mode, where it has no delay, whenever I go back to the game, and I hit the button for Dancer, my character goes off running across the screen. So, whenever I go into here and I set that back up, what's happening here is it's telling the uh, thing that there's a 50 millisecond delay on each of these keys. Uh, without that, this key and this key do not stay pressed down long enough register that you're pushing them at the same time as R. And since R is set to auto run, the game just assumes that you're trying to auto run. <laughs> so take that away, go back, and now that I put the delay back in there, it will now switch me over to dance or whatever. And just pretty much repeat that for all the different classes that you want. Um, and the way that that looks like in the game is I went to my hot bars. And I grabbed five hot bars that I wasn't doing anything else with. Or three hot bars that I wasn't doing anything else with. So I used five, six, and ten. And I set all of my uh, things up into there. And then I went to the keybinds, went to hot bars, and then you just go down to five, six, and ten, or whichever ones it is that you decide to use, and give each one of those the keys that you used for that. So if you go and let's say this should be at bar six. So the first slot, if you click on that and click a button, it'll automatically try to add that in there for you. Which for mine it's already it's already that. If I try to use one of the other ones, it's going to ask me to replace it because I have them already set up for something else. Like if I click that, say OK, then there it shows. But now, that's not the case. There we go. And then you apply that. And then once you're done with that, you can hide these hot bars again. Apply that, close. And they're gone, but they're still assigned to being used by the keys.
And I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. You guys are awesome. And thank you once again. That was just terrible. Yeah, I'm bad at this. <laughs>